Good morning. I'm going to try to get this uh, video done today. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it's frustrating. Uh, the reason it's frustrating is uh, being here in Mexico and putting, getting these videos on our, our uh, website. And so I do them here and then I send them up to my good friend Elaine in Minnesota and then she in turn gets them onto the website. But anyway, uh, the process is simple, I know, for probably a 10-year-old that understands computers better than I do. But I found that when I started doing this, it became very frustrating uh, because something would come up and say, uh, you have too many megabytes, you can't send that large of a video. And so I started to look for different avenues to send these videos. And, and in the process, I, I looked at Microsoft and Apple and Dropbox and Google and OneDrive and Word, Edge, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, all these different things, Apple, OneNote, Bing. And I, I decided, okay, I'll download something. I read about it. I downloaded it on my computer. And it was that all was good. It would say then that uh, you know I could do this, and then I'd try to do it. And after I download it, and pretty soon the, these little icons come up, and one of them said, um, "Do you want to allow this to change your settings on your computer?" And I thought, I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to if I'm going to use it. So I go yes, and then I'd see another window come up and says, is this site safe? And so I'd read it and it seemed safe. And anyway, to make a long story short, my computer finally went into gridlock, deadlock, crash mode, whatever it did. It didn't want to do anything. It just rebelled one program against the other and I was stuck. And <laughs> I got thinking, I, you know, this is exactly what we are going through today. You know, we're, our brains are, they just, mine can't anyway, handle all this stuff that's, that's trying to invade its space. It, I, I look at the news, I listen to friends, I look at Facebook once in a while, you know, but it, it, it's like the computer. Finally, it just locks up. Finally, it just says, <laughs> I'm not going to do this anymore. And I think, you know, it's so true. And somehow we have to get through this, and, and I believe we will. And, but I found something very interesting in the scriptures. Uh, this one verse comes from uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 2. And I, I was looking at this for myself, and I thought, it says, okay, preach the word, be prepared in every season and out, uh, everything out of season, uh, be able to correct and rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instruction for the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from their ears away from the truth and turn aside the myths. But you, he said, but you, and he's speaking to me here, and I think all of us when we read the scriptures, but you keep your head in all situations. Uh, endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Make sure you use all the good gifts that God gave you. I like that. And, uh, I, I also found this other verse because I, I think we are in a place where our brains are a little taxed and uh, we've, <laughs> there's just a battle going on that says, I really don't know what's truth and what isn't anymore sometimes with what I get from the media. I do believe the truth that I read in the scriptures is true. And this is what Jesus said about it. For those of us who are weary and overloaded burdened. He says this, come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest.
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. That's what I need. I think that's what we all need, rest for our souls. And Jesus said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So maybe rather than downloading another program into our head or into our computers, we need to download what Jesus said to come to him and rest in him. God bless you. Have a good day.